making another recipe tonight. Tonight we're making keto friendly pretzel dogs. Basically it's a fathead dough. If you don't know what fathead dough is, go to my first video, I'll put it up somewhere up here. And I made a pizza out of it. It's a little bit of a tweak on that. I got this recipe from a website I've seen before. It's called 9010 Nutrition. They put up a lot of keto, uh, paleo, uh, things like that. So it's a little different, <clears throat> watch the video. Instead of just almond flour, they use a little bit of coconut flour as well. <clears throat> this recipe is supposed to make six, enough to wrap six hot dogs. I use, instead of uncured hot dogs, I use these. Uh, Teton Waters Ranch. Uh, and again, it's a this one is cheddar jalapeno bratwurst. So they're a lot, lot bigger than a hot dog. So I got four. And they come like this from, I get mine at Costco. They come in a 12 pack, in the, wrapped individually, uh, wrapped by fours. Uh, I first saw the people from Keto Connect do a taste test on these. And of course, you go to the website, like I do all the time for the company. They list a, a big chain here where I live in Connecticut, and they're not there. Eventually, they found their way into the Costco's. I got the regular bratwurst, and then the last time I was there, they had... Um, they had the jalapeno cheddar. And, you know, it's all good ingredients. It's 100% grass-fed beef, uh, no hormones, no antibiotics, uncured, uh, no nitrates. Um, it's one link, and it's a fairly large bratwurst. It's one carb uh, per link. So they make a whole line of this kind of sausage, hot dog kind of thing. That's what I use tonight. And like I said, uh, when we go into the kitchen, you'll see uh, it's a modified dough. I found this fathead dough much easier to work with, meaning it wasn't as sticky. I didn't have to wet my fingers. I did not have to put it, uh, like when I make pizza, I put it between a sheet of parchment paper and my baking sheet. It does get very firm, so when you're working out, you're going to make these ropes. I made this recipe one time before. It was very good. I've said in a previous video that I can... Uh, I have the ability to eat the same thing over and over again, but it is nice to have something different. I made these last week on the fly, uh, and they were really good. Um, the dough does get very stiff at points, but as you're working out the rope to wrap the hot dog in, you know, I would just hit that, put that chunk when I'm ready to work with it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, and it gets very pliable. So um, maybe I'll try to make some pretzels. So let's get up in the kitchen. Get her done. Peace. All right, YouTubers, social media, excited tonight to make these pretzel dogs. Basically, we have a we have a couple of shredded mutts here. We're gonna make a modified fathead dough. So it's normally just mutts, cream cheese, almond flour, and egg. So tonight we have it's a cup of shredded mutts. It's supposed to be a half a cup. Of Monterey Jack grated. This is like a, a Jack cheddar. Uh, we have one egg. Remember, we're going to put the egg in last after the flour. So, in case the cheese mixture is hot, it's not cooking the flour. Now, this is also different. It's got three quarters of a cup almond flour, one quarter cup of coconut flour, and it calls for a half a tablespoon of baking powder. I made these once already, and I can't find a half a tablespoon, so there's a half a teaspoon in there. Uh, and I have another egg over here that we'll use for an egg wash when we're done. We're going to get this in the microwave uh, and make this dough. I, I definitely found this dough easier to work with than the traditional um, fathead dough. It wasn't as sticky. Let's get in the microwave. And preheating our oven to 350. Alright guys and gals, see, here's what we're looking for. You see how all this cheese is melted. Again, we're not looking to get it really bubbly. It's warm right now, but there is no evidence of shredded cheese in there. So now we're going to add our flour. And our flour. And again, I put the egg on top just so that I insulate it from the hot cheese so it doesn't cook the egg. And we mix. Now you may have to hit this in the microwave a few more times to loosen everything up. We'll get back to you in a second. All right, so you can see this here is much more 
it's not as sticky. So we're gonna take it over there and roll out some strips and make our hot dogs. All right, so basically I'm gonna roll these out. Uh, these are, I'm, as I mentioned before, I'm not using hot dogs. These are the Teton Waters Ranch Jalapeno Cheddar Bratwurst. So they're much larger than uh, a hot dog. The last time I made these, I would roll out a strip. I might have to make two. This uh, dough ball is supposed to make six of these. So I'm gonna show you what I do here. Basically, I'm just gonna get a ball going here and get it out to the size of a rope. I'm gonna put this back in my bowl, get it out of the way. I might have to buzz that in the microwave. I had some dough left over last time, and I didn't really do anything with it. I might try to make a few pretzels. It's supposed to be like a pretzel dough. And like I said, this is way, way easier to work with than that other fathead dough. It's definitely not as sticky. I don't have to keep my hands wet. I don't have to keep it between parchment paper. I'm gonna to try to get it as long as this cutting board. The rope is still a little thicker than I like. I'm gonna cut the camera and I'll come back. All right, so we're getting there, guys. I'm gonna just kind of try to work it out. This, this cutting board's kind of tacky on the back so it helps it stick. So this is 15 inches. So what I'm going to try to do now is cut this in half I want it a little thinner. These were really good. I made them once. They were fantastic. So guys, what I did is I just buzzed this other piece in the microwave. It gets it much more pliable. And you can see, we're pretty much there for the first one. Now we're gonna put it on our baking mat. I'm gonna do the other ones and I'll get right back to you to throw them in the oven. Guys, so there's, I got two done. I'm gonna, it gets very stiff. So you just throw it in the microwave for about 12 seconds and it comes very pliable. All right, guys and gals, here we go. Not too bad. It's my second attempt. They were very good. Uh, the dough was a little more of a struggle tonight. Um, it's late, I'm tired. But there you go. You have your. Uh, they made four pretzel dogs. It calls for six hot dogs. These are obviously much thicker. And like I said, the last time I. Uh, I, I cooked the hot dogs first and they got kind of shrivelly. Now we're just going to hit them with a little egg wash. This is one egg beaten with a tablespoon of water. And they're going to go in a 425 degree oven. That's a correction. I said 350 before, but it's actually 425. Not the hardest keto recipe I've made. One of my favorites at this point. Whoa, I spilled the egg. Oopsie. I'll get right back to you. Back, we're back. Oh yeah, so 425. And we're going to sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on these now. I was saying, uh, it's not the hardest recipe. My favorite keto recipe is the most pain in the butt one to make. I'll do that another time. So we got the egg wash on there. Sprinkle a little 
grated cheese on them. I think they go in for uh, 15 minutes. I like the fact that you can just pop them in the microwave, heat them up, and boom. All right, in the oven you go. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. And there you go. They smell good. They browned up nice. I think I liked it better that I didn't cook the hot dogs first. They went in the oven for... Uh, Uh, 15 minutes or so, 425. We'll definitely make them again, they're delicious.